everybody, uh, I'm Mark and uh, Mark Edward, and I'm going to just tell you a couple stories that have some relevance to uh, uh, skepticism and, and why we're all here. So uh, what I'm going to show you is, is very magical, but it also has to do with uh, the way we think and the way I think, and, and, I, and I'm trying to get that to resonate, so I'm not going to just make a bird appear or anything like that. I'm going to work with your minds because the mind is the theater of the mind is really the most powerful place that's where the show really happens anyway I'm just the facilitator okay so it's a little like a seance only we'll get to the seancey part later uh, we have a table and we have chairs and I have in my pocket make sure I have it yes I do I have in my pocket some coins okay because gentleman here was interested in something with coins. So this uses what's in my hand and it also uses your imagination. So that's really the most important thing. Uh, for example, have you ever had a dream where you wake up in the dream and you feel like it's a dream within a dream? You wake up and you think you're awake, but it's really, you're not awake, you're dreaming that you just woke up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. go with me a little bit on that because that's what is in my hand is that kind of experience. It's it's bewildering and it can be disorienting when you have that experience. So I had this dream one night. I uh, I woke up. It was a it was a typical night. I mean I hadn't had anything to drink. I was not altered in any way. I woke up and. I was not aware of anything unusual. Now, if you have a night table, you wake up and you've got a book or a glass of water or your glasses or whatever. I woke up and for some reason I looked at my side table. So it was a, a moonlit night, so the moon was very bright, shining in through the window. And I remember when I woke up that yes, the moon was full that night, so it made sense. But I looked down at this end table by my bed and there were three coins lying there, okay? And one was a Chinese coin. It was brass, and it's round, and it has a hole through the center. You may have seen them before. Mm -hmm. The second one was an English penny. Round, big. English pennies are big. The third one was a Kennedy half dollar. So I don't have any of those coins in my real life. So when I woke up, I looked down at them and I said, what? Where did these coins come from? And I said, oh, I must be dreaming or these coins should not be there. So curious, I sat up and I looked at them for a second and I picked one up and picked one up and I held it in my hand. I picked up the Chinese coin. And as I looked at it, strange things started to happen. It wasn't just a Chinese coin. It, it started to speak to me. I started to see a great battle. I saw pillaging and, and uh, fighting and heads on poles and people racing around on horses. It got stronger and stronger. Finally, I realized it's Genghis Khan and he's destroying all these people. This is horrible. This is horrible. Make it stop. Make it stop. Coin disappeared from my hand. And I woke up again. I said, man, that was a nasty nightmare. That was, I don't ever want to see that again. And I looked over. There were still two coins there. So now I'm thinking, wait a minute. Are you dreaming? Or did you just wake up? Or is this another dream? Hmm. So I looked down at the two coins. They looked innocent. I picked up the English penny. I held it in my hand. I thought, oh, English penny, I've seen these before. They're from England. They don't use them anymore. They're from Victorian times. But then again, this coin started to make me very uneasy. It made me very upset. And I started to look at it, and I heard, I heard women screaming, and I heard the sound of, of horses going down a cobble road, and police whistles, and it was getting more intense. People were screaming. They were chasing after somebody. It was no longer just an English penny. This was... Jack the Ripper's penny I was holding in my hand terrified me. 
And I said, no, make it stop. I don't want to see this anymore. Make it go, make it go, boom. Suddenly the coin was gone again, like a magic trick, just disappeared from my fingers. Okay, then I woke up again. So it's starting to get like, I'm starting to think in my mind, did I eat something bad or is there something really, because I don't <laughs> like how this is going. And, and again, now at this point, I'm looking forward and I'm thinking, do I dare look down at my nightstand? Because if there's a coin there, something's going on. Look down. Sure enough, there was one left. The one last coin that was there, the Kennedy half dollar. How, how normal is that, a Kennedy half dollar? Not many of us have them anymore. But I thought, what could possibly be up with this? So I picked it up. I held it in my hand. Because now I'm expecting something to happen. Took a breath. Suddenly I start hearing crowds, start hearing the sound of cars, people screaming, police sirens. Suddenly I'm in Dallas, and it's the Kennedy assassination, and I'm on the grassy knoll, and I'm watching this, and I'm seeing for the first time close up, somebody having their head blown off, make it stop, make it stop, disappears. Now I look down, three coins are gone. Okay, so that's my story. Now, in my hand, I have an object, but it's going to be entirely up to one of you to decide using your imagination. So, among the group here, who would like to make the decision to make this vision that I had come true? Would it be you, sir? <laughs> sure. So, and we did not plan anything to fool anybody else, right? So three terrifying stories. They're just words. They're, there's no trick to oh, it, right? Uh -huh. But for you, one of those three stories resonated much more than the other two. Uh -huh. Now, is there any way I could know which one? Is that true? One, one grabbed you a little more, a little more nightmarish, Probably. a little more memorable. Okay. Yeah. So is there any way I could know which one that was? Not unless you can read my mind. Exactly. Okay, so so you have that coin in mind. Okay. When I snap my fingers, you're going to name it. Chinese, British, Kennedy half. Ready? Go. British. The British. The British penny. Okay, so this has been in my hand. I'm going to open my hand very slowly so you can see. There is an English penny. Just one the English penny, the copper coin. <laughs> How would he have known? <laughs> so that's, I could, I mean, I love to see the looks on your faces. You're expecting something really powerful, but think about that. Yeah. That one thing resonated.